Thank you so much for coming. I know on the program it said Pooja was going to be here, so it's not Pooja, it's me. But um, I am the first mate of the ship, so hopefully I can give you enough information that um, she would normally be giving you um, about our new product, Radius. Um, so I work at Tefra Labs, which um, is a nucleated organization outside of the Protocol Labs network. We are building the infrastructure to enable decentralized human networks because we think that large scale human coordination is going to be the answer to solving a lot of humanity's problems. Um, so I'm super excited to tell you about Radius, which is the first of many products that we're creating. Um, and I will get started on the slides. So humanity really has made leaps and bounds in creating a better society for all of us. Um, and with all the great advancements we've made, there have also been a host of challenges that have also appeared. Um, for a long time, we've entrusted states and countries and corporations to try to solve these problems for, it, uh, for us. But, um, you know, let's be honest, like the needle has barely moved in a lot of issues like poverty, access to education, um, access to healthcare, things like that. And um, we really do believe that the large-scale human coordination I mentioned earlier is the answer to uh, bringing power back to the labor forces so that we can decide what we work on and what projects are really impactful in the grand scheme of life. Um, and so we just think that bottom line, the world needs better coordination structures. The way that companies and you know employment is set up right now is not helping us move the needle. Um, and we believe that the key is aligning incentives um, with the solutions. So where does Radius fit into this really lofty um, movement that we're trying to push forward? Um, and it is the first tool um, that we have created to create a more frictionless process for connecting talent to um, projects and ecosystems. So how many of you here have applied for a job? How many of you have tried to hire for a job? How many of you had so much fun in that process and just loved applying for a job or posting a job? Exactly. <laughs> oh, you did, okay. Um, but it seems like the majority of us, you know, applying for a job and posting a job are not pleasant processes and it creates a lot of friction and it makes people less likely to work on things that they really want to work on. Um, because the system is broken and we are trying to fix that system. So our goal with our system is to onboard the next billion workers into Web3. And we know that that is like a really shoot for the stars goal, but we know that we cannot do this by ourselves. We need to build this community with everybody, all of you, funders, workers, who are all aligned in the same goal to create meaningful work through um, you know, high value employment and high value projects. And we have four pillars that we have created to build the system on. Um, and the first one is to attract workers into Web3 and the Radius ecosystem. The second one is to train um, workers to be effective with the Web3 work opportunities. And then we match workers to opportunities in Web3 ecosystems. And then at the end, we want to support both workers and funders to achieve successful um, project results. And um, today I'm going to be focusing more on the features that we have for the worker side. But if you are a funder um, or a company who is interested in employment, um, please come talk to me later. Uh, we can definitely um, go more into uh, a lot of the benefits that we have for the funders as well. So the first part of um, our product is the jobs board. So if you want to check it out, it's radius.space will take you to the landing site and then you can explore grants. Currently we have, um, I would say around like 20 grants from our launch partners that include Filecoin, IPFS, LibP2P, uh, and Radius ourselves. So go check them out, see if there's anything you want to do or are interested in. Um, and this is a super easy, um, platform where you can filter things that are open, uh, filter for the ecosystem that you want to work with, um, by grants, like how much money do you want to make? Um, and it's a very easy application process once you've created your profile. Um, and there's always support in our Discord community to help you um, in any way that you would need support in. So the second part of um, our 
system is the train aspect of it. And training doesn't have to necessarily mean like, what, how, do you, how do I code in Rust? That, those are resources that are available in our content library, but because Web3 is constantly changing, we want to make sure that anybody from people pivoting in to Web3 from Web2 have a learning library. And also, if you're already an expert currently, who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? And we want to make sure that we have all of those resources um, in our content library. And this is accessible to you know everybody. It's on our Notion page. And anybody can access it. And it's the bit.ly link at the bottom, which will be available online to you folks there. And anybody here, feel free to reach out to me. And I can get you that link as well. The next part of the train um, method is um, in not only do you have self-guided asynchronous um, content that you can choose, we also have a fellowship program that we are launching that is going to slot different people into what their goals are in learning. And by the end of it, they should feel very comfortable in the track that they've chosen, um, go through a curriculum, talk to people that are in similar jobs, and at the end of it, will be matched to a project grant or a full-time long-term contributor role with one of our funders. And this is launching in summer 2022, so um, applications are open right now. Um, and we are taking those in, and then once we get those in, we will let you know when that's actually launching. But um, if, you, if you yourself are interested in learning more about Web3 and building out your career, or you have a friend, coworker who's trying to make the pivot, or just wants to have more robust understanding of Web3, um, please you know, let me know, and I can totally connect that as well. Last thing is attend a uh, community event. Um, this would be considered a community event, but another really strong part of Radius is our growing community. And um, our community, I would say, is really open to helping each other, very curious people. Everybody is on a journey to find the best future of work situation for themselves. Um, so there is a lot of material in the community, in our Discord, um, but at these face-to-face uh, -face events, I think is where we can really connect and figure out you know, what do you need? What do you need? How can I help you and really build a strong community that is, you know, very native to Web3? We really want to lean into like supporting each other, um, us as the team at Radius, but also community members within the community that already exists. Last thing I just touched on um, is the Discord. Um, I know many of you have Discords probably because uh, we all are in Web3 and are, you know, maybe part of a DAO already. Um, but the Radius Discord currently has obviously members, but we also have the Radius team. We also have contributors who are really experts in their field um, that are there to really answer any questions you have about Web3 or cryptography. Are you interested in DAOs? Um, do you have feedback about our platform and our product right now? We're all on there and like answering questions. If you've applied to a grant and no one's gotten back to you, that's a problem, you know, let us know on the Discord and we're usually pretty quick to reply um, because we think that's pretty foundational to um, building our community. Um, and then, last thing, that is the full breadth of things that we currently have. Um, and I would say that in the future, uh, please keep an eye out on our Twitter and um, on our Discord because we are in the process of building out a protocol for these things to be automated. All of these processes right now, um, you know, we're creating ourselves, but we're in the next year are going to build a really robust protocol um, that I personally really believe is gonna be game changing for the future of work as the buzzword is. So if you have any questions about that, I can totally talk about it it offline um, on off this stage. So um, please give us a follow on Twitter at join radius. Um, and if you have any questions, I will be right there. So um, talk to me later. <laughs>